Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React JS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to add records dynamically into your drop down list, which is a select option element with input text box control on button click event. Dynamically add records into your drop down select option element in React JS. First, Let's check the select option element is empty. Now let's enter employee name Charan. Select option element is empty. Now when I click add record, notice here I got a Charan. Now when I click Jack, enter Jack, add record, Jack here. Now Rajesh, Rajesh, see Rajesh here. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. Just for the time saving, I have already created one project called chkml insert in this above folder. Let me expand my project. If you notice in my project, there is a source folder. Let me allow to expand this source folder also. Notice in the source folder or .js file, all these JS files are nothing but a components. Whether it's a state or functional component, I am creating in this source folder only. I'm saving in this source folder only. And for this example also, I'm adding one new JS file. Right click the source folder, new file and the file name is ddl dynamic.js which is my file name. And here we got our JS file. Now, in order to create a component in React.js, we can create two types of components. One is a functional component and the second one is a class component. Here in this example, I am creating a class component. But before that, we need to import the React class from the React library. Let's add that step first. Import React from the React library. After that, I am defining one class called ddl dynamic which is my file name and this class extends react.component class in every class at the bottom line we must add the export default ddl my file name or oh, this is a component name now come to the class between the curly brackets in every class component there are two important methods we must include one is the render method Inside the render method, there is a return method and this return method contains the HTML elements which will display the output on the browser. Let's add one element called div. The div element is a root element. When we want to add more than two, one element, we must include between the div elements. Otherwise, we'll get an error. So div element is a root element of our component inside the root element i'm adding one center tag inside the center tag i'm adding one h1 tag which is a header dynamically add records into drop down list drop down drop, which is a select option element select option and after that i'm adding h2 tag and this H2 is another heading React.js tutorials. Now after the headings, I'm adding one horizontal line after the horizontal line. And for this uh, example, I require three components. Three, uh, sorry, I require three HTML elements. One is a text box, second one is a button control, and the third one is a select option element, which is a drop down list. Let add those elements. First, I'm adding one strong for the label enter employee name after that i'm adding one input type is equals to text box and this text box with a placeholder enter employee name let's close this text box control after that i'm adding one horizontal line this horizontal line after the horizontal line i'm adding one element select option element 
which contains the option. Now at this moment, I'm not adding the option. Uh, what I'll do is let's add the options here. Option, option. Now this option here empty. Before adding the records dynamically into this select option element, let's check the output, how it looks the designing part on the browser, our, our component, how it looks on the browser. So let's save this file, save all. Now the most important step is, when we want to render our component on the browser, we must, uh, we must uh, configure our component in index.js file. So let's copy our component name and add our component in index.js file and that index.js file will be available in the source folder come to the bottom uh, here is the index.js file open that one and notice in the index.js file the default app component is rendering in the render method so now i don't require this app component for this example i'm deleting that app component and i'm pasting the a uh, newly created component which is a ddl dynamic and after that we need to import our component on the header section that's it let's save this file we'll check the output for that go to view click terminal and here we got our terminal notice the path d column this is the folder name and inside this folder i have created my project let's add my project to this path for that cd change change directory chkml insert which is my project name after adding my project to the path now i can able to run my application on the browser using a command call npm nudget package manager start enter And here we got the output of our application at this moment we got only the headings horizontal lines and uh, one text box control here i forgot to add the button control let's add the button control switch over to our component after the input text box i'm adding one button element which, is, which contains a label called add records let's save this file file save all now we'll check the output and here we got our button control also now my aim is when a user enter any values let's fill the browser let's enter any value here for example charan if a user enter any text employee name charan when i click add records i want to add this record employee name into this select option element which is a drop down list so let's add that functionality switch over to our component first we require one state to create a state above the render method inside the class i'm creating one constructor after the constructor whenever we create a constructor the immediate step we need to define super method then only we create a state after that uh, let's add the input value uh, here one important thing is I require first state for one state for the text box control and the second state for the uh, select option element and now I require this input value is for the select option element and not the select option input type element and um, now the second state for the select option element let's add the emp list emp list colon it's an array inside this array i'm adding emp names i'm adding the emp employee names and colon colon within mm, single quotes i'm adding select this emp list is for the select option element and this input value is for the text box control that's it now come to here in the render method 
I'm declaring one variable called employee records, MP records, records which will give the output in the options is equals to and here I'm adding this dot state dot emp list emp list dot map method i'm adding the map method because the emp list is a an array is an array so i require the map method um, i'm defining one variable here array function array function In this array function, I'm adding option return. Return. Inside the return, I'm adding the option option x between curly brackets x dot emp names. I'm getting the names here. Emp names. Now let's add the EMP records in the select element because EMP records is the options now because we have used the map method uh, to hold the arrays. Now let's save this file. We'll check this select label is displaying or not in the select option element. So this file switch over to the browser notice the select element is is uh, added the select label is added now my aim is i want to let's go to the browser whenever user enter any values for example jack click add record i want to display the jack record in this select option element so as i told we require two events First for the input text box value text emp text employee employee is an event I'm adding one array function I'm adding one arrow function mm. now this arrow function I want to change the state of the input value input value is nothing but a set state now this state at this moment is an empty is an empty see here yeah, no, no values no employee records now uh, here this dot set state i'm adding set state when we want to update or change the state in a class component we use set state hook method set state between curly brackets input value input value this value i'm adding i want to change that value now let's add this event e dot target dot value that's it now let's add this input value here uh, in the text box control with on change event this dot text employee this dot text employee and also we require the value value is equals to this dot state dot input value the input value is a state and text employee is an event i'm adding the on change event let's check is working or not mm, save this file i'm reloading the browser now let's enter the employee name Charan. So notice here, here I'm getting the Charan details. So on change event is working. Now the same employee Charan, instead of adding here, I want to save in this drop down list. So switch over to the browser, not the browser component. We require one more event. Let's add a function which is an event. Add add new emp. The narrow function. 
Now in this event, I want to change the state of this EMP list. So for that, this that again we need to require a set state method. In the set set state x colon, uh, let's add the array. Let's add the array. Begin curly brackets. Um, here I am adding. First we require the input value. Input value of the text box. Input value of the text box. Now, now we require the EMP list. EMP list colon array. Now between the square brackets, I'm adding three dots. Three dots is nothing but an uh, it's an operator. It's a spread operator when we are dealing with an array in ReactJS. So x dot x is a variable we have defined and x dot I'm adding emp list emp list now between curly brackets I'm adding emp names inside this emp names emp names colon x dot input value x dot input value here we got an error. We forgot to add the comma. Now let's save this file. We'll check the final output. Oh, we need to add our method to a button click event. And on click event is equals to this dot add new EMP. Now let's save this file. Save all. We'll check the final output. Let's reload the browser. Now we'll check the final output. Dynamically add records to your drop down select option element using text box and button control. Notice at this moment the select option element is empty. Now let's enter some text value charan. I'm adding my charan. Let's delete this one. We don't require this one just for the checking. This on change event is working or not. Now let's save this file. Save all. I'm reloading the browser again. Now we'll check the final output. Dynamically add records into a drop down select option element in ReactJS. First, let's check the select option element is empty. Now let's enter employee name Charan. Select option element is empty. Now when I click add record, Notice here I got a Charan. Now when I click Jack, enter Jack, add record, Jack here. Now Rajesh, Rajesh, see Rajesh here. Now here one more thing is, we require one validation. Suppose if you user click add records without enter any uh, values, Notice here, here I got one space. So for that validation, I will show you in my next video. So that's it in this video tutorial. How to add records dynamically into your drop down list in ReactJS. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.